Okay. Rabbit Rabbit is a New Yorker. He's warm and friendly and witty, yet easy to meet. Well, he's sort of like the mascot that New York City ought to have, but doesn't. The name Rabbit Rabbit is short for Rabbit Transit Rabbit because he takes the subway. One of the most common things you can do is take the subway, and Rabbit Rabbit does that. I produce and host a long-running public access cable TV show called Rabbit Tea Rabbit and Friends, and I, I try to make it an intelligent show that's fun to watch and funny to watch. You guys know what mascots are, don't you? Yeah, no. they're like ties. They're what? They're like ties. You put them around your neck. That's an ascot, not a mascot. Hey, watch your mouth! Hey! Hey! He got me there! Uh. Am I the same person in an auto costume? With Rabbit Tea Rabbit, pretty much yes. However, when I'm in the Rabbit Tea Rabbit costume, I'm more presentable as myself than I am without the costume. I think about the fact that the people see me differently. Uh, again, if they're looking at Rabbit Tea Rabbit, they're, they're looking at me, but they're looking at me with a better eye than if I were without the costume on. People look at you with fur-covered glasses, so to speak. I'm not saying I lack social skills, but on the other hand, I guess I sometimes feel I'm more sociable in character than I am out of character. Um, it's not a bad apartment, it's just probably too small for me. So it's a bachelor pad, if you can see. Here's a big inspiration for me being a mascot, the Banana Splits. The world's first furry cartoon band. I mean, I was a fan of Big Bird. I wrote a fan letter to him at 15, and he answered it. He said, oh my god, he actually answered it. I didn't, you know, things like that didn't happen to me before. And, uh, and then he actually invited me to the show and everything, and uh, we've been friends ever since. This was me doing Bugs Bunny at the grand opening of the Warner Brothers Studio Store on Fifth Avenue here in New York City. I was in costume. They hauled me out in the Bugs Bunny costume out in front of the store just so I can pose for a picture with Michael Jordan. That was quite a moment in my life, exactly 10 years ago, you know. Where, where has everybody gone now? So it looks like we're about to wrap up nine years at Chuck E. Cheese. It's almost like losing a friend, you know. <laughs> know what I'd like? A great big Care Bear hug. <laughs> I like the Care Bears because they stand for sharing your feelings, you know, opening up to people. Who is in this bag? It's Center Heart Bears. Having a costume is pointless unless you can be a Care Bear to somebody. Boom, there's his head. <laughs> ah, it's upside down. There he is. I can actually say the Care Bears have been good to me. Watching cartoon characters, they were, uh, they were a comfort, they were a relief, you know, especially like Bugs Bunny, they were, it's, again, it was like comfort food, you know, it's like, you know, they'll always be there, and they always made you laugh. Cartoon characters were friends. Sometimes, you know, they were almost more faithful than some people that you saw more often in real life. My parents don't really care very much for my, any of my artistic endeavors. They didn't even congratulate me on my 20th anniversary of the Rabbit Tea Rabbit show. Most people define success as money and uh, popularity and fame. I mean, imagine being a star of your own TV show for 20 years and people still don't know you. It, it's kind of hard to say that Rabbit Rabbit is, is a success, but on the other hand, he's not a failure either. He's sort of like in another world in the middle. Price I pay to be an artist. <laughs>